Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video. Alright guys, so in today's video we are going to take down boss John Constantine from my Lord Lucifer's account. And uh, you know, I think it should not take me uh, any longer than 30-40 seconds or maybe at the max a minute. So I've already set up the team uh, as you can see. Uh, so without wasting any time, let's begin. So I have god killer on batwoman the drowned i have a level 2 twin blade on arkham knight batman and a level 1 twin blade on john stewart green lantern all right yesterday uh we were supposed to defeat him yesterday but the game was lagging and uh, you know what happens when the game starts to lag it basically finishes off your entire fight messes up your entire fight and that's what happened yesterday unfortunately but today it looks like the game is going smoothly it's running smoothly and in the next few seconds john constantine should be dead there we go not even 30 seconds i defeated him in 20 seconds that was too fast okay all right guys now let's jump in the inbox so last time i defeated john constantine from my main account i got a legendary character which was john constantine himself but that was heroic 4 uh, let's see what we get now because this is uh, heroic 2 we've just unlocked heroic 3 now and again this is my lord lucifer's account so i play with three different accounts and this is the second one the third one is my beta voids account just to be clear for everyone okay <clears throat> all right it's still loading there we go Let's claim it all. Okay, that is a crappy character, uh, but I'm glad that I got uh, another twin blade. I'm going to shatter it, of course, but yeah, it's good to have uh, this artifact, some reforges over here, some experience capsules, uh, some coins, and uh, some artifact upgrade material. All right, guys, and let's, let's play some fights in... Uh, Heroic 3 mode. Uh, now these, I'm not uh, looking forward to fighting Hawkman right away. You know, maybe I'll fight uh, this guy first. You know, so I know exactly which team I'm going to use. It will be King, Raven, and Dr. Fate. It, it should do the trick. King, Raven, and uh, Dr. Fate. So King obviously will have the Twin Blade. So, but before we put on the twin blade, I might have to, uh, you, know, you know, shatter uh, the newly found twin blade that we got today. And uh, let, let's see how many resources I have so far. Okay, let's shatter this. I have 10,000 now. Uh, it will be 19,000. So, I'm not sure. I think we need 20 plus. Oh, okay. We can upgrade it to level 3. It's a good thing. <clears throat> it's a good thing, yeah. You know, guys, so always, you know, whenever, whatever solo raid artifact that you're using or that you're playing in, any solo raids, make sure that you at least have one artifact that you're consistently promoting to the next levels. Now, I have uh, a lot of solo raid artifacts, not on this account, but on my main account. Uh, but mostly I just pick up one, like one God Killer or one dark metal cards and i get them try to get them to as high as possible to level seven eight nine and even try to max them out at least one and then after that with the other artifacts you can play around you know max out uh, try to work on different artifacts uh, which will help you in almost every solo rate so that's how you know you will progress you know if you just keep randomly upgrading any artifact that you have you know it just won't work out you will waste your uh you know upgrade material for that particular solo raid and at the end of the day, you won't have anything left, you know, so. So think about it before you're shattering any artifact or you're upgrading any artifact. If you're upgrade, upgrading the right artifact. Okay. All right. Let's begin. Now, there is a null field uh, modifier, so which means gear effects and passives won't work. Uh, but yeah, you know, we got uh, Twin Blade. You know, with a lot of armor piercing available for us now. Okay, I unfortunately had to pick Power Girl, but I picked. Ah, <laughs> I unfortunately picked Doctor Fate. I'm sorry. Bring to your 
Okay, two stacks. Three and four stacks. Let's get it to the fifth stack as well. Okay. Uh, let's do another special too. But this should be a piece of cake, to be honest. Go. Just have to do uh, get the stacks for King to the max as quickly as I can. All right, I don't think uh, you know I will be dead because I have a level three twin blade. All right, no harm done. And he is almost dead. There we go. All right, guys. So, and then after this, let's see what else we can take down. Okay, let's let's deal with the uh, yeah, maybe let's let's first finish off the flash. Yeah. Or maybe you know what? You know what? Let's get this done with. API and then we got to put in Predator Batman. I've already used my Arkham Knight Batman with uh, on my first pip. Okay. A level three twin blade over here. Or no, no, I think that's fine. I was thinking about dark metal cards, but no, I think this is still fine. I'm 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 probably gonna go with uh let me just check. Yeah, there is increased defense. I'm probably just going to go with all blades over here. All right. And uh, another twin blade over here. You know, I know that uh, she is not that strong. But I'm pretty sure that she won't die, you know. Or maybe I'll just let, uh, you know, maybe I'll just let Predator Batman tank the super move. I think he can. Yep, probably he can. Yep, let's let's begin. Let's finish off Hawkman as well, because uh, he will be a pain. Because he he basically has a very annoying uh, gameplay, you know, very annoying uh, mechanics, the fighting mechanics. Now take a look at that. He's blocking that. I did a ghost app yet. He's blocking it. I might have to follow a different strategy over here. Because if he keeps uh, doing these basics. Yeah, this is this is a good strategy. Let's hope that uh, my EPI <clears throat> is strong enough to tank this super move. I think he should be. She should be, I'm sorry. The ghost stamp does not work for some reason. There we go. I did like a lot of times, you know, did a ghost stamp, but it is not working. So let's follow this strategy. This should work. And let him move around, let him dance. All right, almost half of the health is done. There 
There we go. Four stacks of old age, not bad. And we still got a lot of time left. That's a good thing. Okay, he should be dead. Not now, but after this. There we go. All right. So uh, that was nice. That was quite easy, actually. Uh, so yeah, Hawkman's done. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it for the video, guys. If you've enjoyed it, give it a like. And let's meet again in the next video. Until then, guys, have a great day. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.